everyone. So, we have to get another lettuce because we finished the other one because it's so good. And we need some arugula as well. We're just going to take like some leaves. So, which are we going to go for? We'll go for the biggest one, this one here. Yes. Okay. Here we go. I'm getting shade in the picture right here. That's it. Beautiful. And now we have to get two new lettuce to plant so that we keep on um, having stock. <laughs> okay, now we'll get here some arugula leaves. We'll leave the smallest one because it's, 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 in, it's just um, starting to grow more and more. So you can cut, yeah. Because this is just going to keep on growing and growing. Okay, and you can cut more on this side. Oh, no, you didn't cut anything. Okay. Because this has a much stronger taste than the ones you buy in the shop. You'll see, if you guys plant this at home, that's enough for now. Just make, it's got a much stronger taste than um, the ones you buy. And we got a, a raspberry here. Cut this one here before a bird comes and takes it. <laughs> okay, okie dokie. Here you go. And uh, we are good for now. Let's go and eat. Okay, so let's try our rucola. Because yesterday it was a lettuce. Okay. Mm. Much stronger than the one you buy in the in the supermarkets or at the shops. Mm. Intense. Don't even have to use so much. Normally you have to use a lot of the ones you buy in the market. More intense. This one is yes. much more intense. So I recommend you guys also plant the rucola with the lettuce. Oof. And we're still going to get our tomatoes just now. So that's going to be quite amazing. <laughs> No windows, eh? Just like the medieval technique, you know, in the castles. Make it like a final shape. And you don't need windows, you know? <laughs> That's how they used to do it. Okay. So, here we are, once again, in our secret location. <laughs> and, um,. We are going to do the review of the Volkswagen Caddy. Okay. Um, so I think you guys will enjoy that. It's quite an interesting van. Let's get to it. Okay, so today we got the VW Caddy 2018. I got it washed this time before I brought it for the review. The other ones weren't that dirty, but they still needed a wash. I'm doing now one at a time. And... Uh, I did catch a rainy day, unfortunately, <laughs> but I said the show must go on, so I just had to do the review, you know, raining or not, snowing, hailing, I don't care, it's just got to get done for the viewers, <laughs> that's what it's all about, you know, so um, it's a very nice van, although it's from 2018, it still looks like it's very quite modern, you don't see a lot of these on the road? Because they were more expensive than the Citroëns, Peugeot and Renaults, so everyone went for those. I still have to get the license plate cover, I've been saying that in every single video. Um, I have to make a plan, I think I'm going to make it out of aluminium. And I have to make something, you know? make a plan. So this is an original, so this has already a bit of wear and tear. This is just rubber you buy in a shop. This is also a rubber mat, so what I do is I put extra protection on all the cars um, except the sex, I still have to get new mats for the front but it also came much more used up, you know so that's the original uh, cover bed for the trunk of the car and then I put this rubber mat and then this rubber mat 
so extra 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 see underneath here it's all carpets you know so it's not that much of carpets you know because normally i like to always take care of the cars so the cool thing about this car which i'm going to open up the back door is that it comes with this cage and everyone's always surprised to see this van why because it comes with a cage like this and actual three adult seats and it's commercial you know for company tax purpose so it is very cool that they do this they didn't do this on Citroen or Ford and that's why I had to go for the VW Caddy so it's practically got like everything normalized standard the windows um, review mirror heating adjustments lock the doors lights um, doesn't have fog lights brightness lights uh, heights adjustments then we got the dashboard we got the commands on the steering wheel we got a nice info um, attainment which um, I can't say is the best but also for the year that it came out you know uh, it's quite cool so this one has I have the software because you have to pay for the monthly subscription of the software just like in the Ford Raptor I said to do uh, you guys can check that in a previous video and um, so I have access always to all the menus you know for the mobile hotspots and just access to internet okay and now we get online see and if I had the internet on I could just search it online for the exact shop whatever and it's just got there direct so that's quite cool First, I have Android Auto just to connect it straight um, but on sunny summer days you know it's not really ideal to have your phone on Android Auto because it heats always heats up a bit you know so I prefer using this system here um, but if you need Android Auto just uh, normally get like a, a stand for your mobile phone and put it next to a vent and when you switch on the aircon it just cools down the phone so you can use Android Auto for how many hours you want you know so that's uh, something I learned uh, we got here yeah, seats are very comfortable okay uh, got here handbag sorry and the jersey my mom's handbag and jersey <laughs> this is off the spot let me just push it more to the front to show the rest yes so quite cool very handy um, also has cup holders at the back comes with cup holders as you can see this uh, arm stand for my express um, and uh, had to make adaptions on it but because we got machinery it's very easy uh, I also got like the VW mats there quite cool always got coins in, in the cars <laughs> for parking um, these are little mattresses PVC that are cut and always use it in all the cars because it's very handy, it stays nice, camouflages and it's very cool anti-skid and cushion so it's a manual 5 gear always got the charger here, I don't need the bluetooth because it's already got the bluetooth so don't need it and uh, got all the airbags, another mat as you can see always use these mats, this stays in the sun this has been staying for the in the sun for what from since 2018 and it's still looking good so this is very good this material if you guys want to know i'll put it in a comment or description got the mirrors with um no lights got lights got a lot of storage room here got my sunglasses up there i was actually looking for those so that was cool also got airbag on the seats so it's quite um packed up i mean the last van we had was uh, a citroen we never got used to all this fancy stuff in a van so the newest one must even be more fancy maybe too fancy for it doesn't have special mags because and that was actually a good thing because once we hit a hole in the road course here this country we have a lot of potholes 
and it actually bent the steel mag so if it was aluminium i would have been like very sad but um i never boot the aluminium mag because it's uh it's for work you know so we asked the full package on this van except for some things like this could have been leather but most of the leather seats on this car have been seen that it's actually you know ribs but they are much easier to clean the leather seats i do say this i prefer leather seats to clean then textile always have to be very careful with textile but um the rest is all top notch you know it has rear sensors doesn't have front parking sensors so little extras doesn't have but in terms of uh, the seat compartment infotainment system all that is top notch you know so as you can see three seats you know i know it's really it's quite old the van you just um clean the feet you know okay here you go I'm take my fingers out of the camera because some reason I'm always being in front of the camera. So forgive me for that, guys. As you can see, any any adults can just sit in here, no problem whatsoever. So that's pretty cool, you know. Have a commercial van, three seaters where you aren't like piled up in the front of the of the van like sardines in a can, <laughs> and you can just one sit here and the two in front. That's quite cool. So, we used to drive with the three in front. Uh, clean this, it's just that the vacuum cleaner pipe, you know, from cleaning the rest of the van, sometimes it's just it's a bit of dust and hits, marks it. There you go. I actually cleaned the whole thing. So, um, 2018 is not bad. So, the the material quality of Volkswagen, I have to say, is pretty good. Okay. But yes, the three seats in front is horrible. Uh, it's not easy. This is much more comfortable. We can go all the way, do the mileage we want. No problem whatsoever. And now we got the back here. See, everything textiled, carpet, layer. So normally this comes all metal, and look how cool they do it, so. Eh? I mean, even from 2018, this car is already almost six years old, and it looks brand new. I know you got to take care of it to make it look like this, but still, the way they do this, if this was all metal, it would be all scratched up, and it's really cool, you know. It insulates the heat, sound. Everyone just stays like surprised, like how is there three seats, you know, in a van like this? I know you lose a bit of space, but I don't need that whole space because small other type of works that I do. It's not that I'm, I don't like carry, you know, big planks of wood and steel and this and that because you get it all shipped, you know, from the supplies anyways. So you don't need to. So as you can see, it was all carpets. Okay, and then with this rubber and this rubber. So this mat came from the Citroen, the Linga, the old one. Still using it, you know. Just uh, reuse everything. So basically that's it. So problems that I had with this van, it's all tinted windows. Form factory, tinted windows, which is very cool. So problems I had with this van. Well, the first problem was this was cracked. But this you can actually buy very cheap in Autodoc, so I actually got an extra. So I thought this was just going to be always cracking, but no, it must have been in factory, they tightened it too hard and it cracked. So I had to change this. Um, doors sometimes get stuck, and the secret is this door sometimes can get stuck after like cleaning, or if you lock it while you're trying to open, something happens that it gets stuck. So what you do is you have to I put copper paste on these little contacts keep contact on them okay lube I use lithium spray oil spray to keep that always lubed up 
um, everything make sure you lube everything okay all the hinges of the door here as well okay and um, if it still gets stuck because if you keep it dry then forget it it's always going to get stuck so if you keep if it gets stuck like now it's just working fine always it's very rare to happen but it does happen and then you can't open this door no matter no matter what you do you just give it a little bash like that don't ask me why but if you just knock it like that okay not hard to knock them is the door but you just give it a vibration and here as well okay and the door will just unlock on itself and that's the trick i took it to volkswagen they didn't know what to do so um, then they opened up these doors because the one of that door there was also getting a bit stuck they opened it up they actually uh, they left the speaker a bit loose. I still have to open up this whole door compartment on that side because the speaker didn't stay well attached. But um, they didn't know this trick. It's not supposed to be a trick, it's not supposed to happen, but it's still the easy way to just unlock your door. Okay, so that's sold. It's not a big issue. I don't mind that. Um, what else? And all the rest is all good. So the quality is very good of Volkswagen. So let me just switch this on here for you guys to see. Okay, so. And why am I doing these reviews of my cars? Because these are the cars I'm going to be using for the videos. So like that, um, sometimes you got to be like interested like, hey, what are you, what car is you using? You know, this and that. I'm going to switch off the air vents, not like last time in the Mazda, where I left it on. Okay, my stupidity. Um, it's already got 177,000 kilometers. I've already done the timing belt, what do, what I do, all the maintenance, but the timing belts I give it to the mechanic. But I haven't had any issues at all, you know. So, would I buy another uh, Volkswagen Caddy? Yes, I would. So, just switches on only when you press the clutch. And good to go. So basically it's just a more modern car okay and um, the I'd say the best future in this car is the engine future okay and the best spec in this car is the engine 2 liter which is excellent from 2018 very reliable excellent and I'll say it's the third seat and the insulated cabin the way it comes the third seat tinted windows because that third seat, you guys don't know how handy that thing came. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, always use the Vic Seed mobile supports, which you cannot see the make here. There you go. <laughs> and that's about it. It's got the start and stop button, which I can disable whenever I want to. And basically, that's it. So, very cool. I didn't have any more issues in this car. The infotainment, um, it's not the best, okay? I think I'll have to change this later on. If I don't change the van for another van, I'll have to change this. Uh, it's like I say, I like to keep my cars. So, that's done. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, oh, the shocks on this car uh, are very good at the back. They aren't independent shocks, so they don't swivel too much in the corners. And it's very stable in the corners. I actually changed the front shocks because the front shocks from factory, I forgot to say that, are very soft. So it was very uncomfortable doing high mileage um, trips. Uh, it was very uncomfortable. It used to stress me and make me tired. Every corner I used to get, my body just used to swerve from one side to the other. So I put harder shocks in front. Problem fixed, problem solved much more comfortable more sporty better performance so shocks is something i like to change a lot the back ones i didn't have to because they are very tough very reliable they are excellent once again little vw cap <laughs> that's a bit shine on the tires and everything so yes this is the proper review with the car clean so i hope you guys enjoyed that and now um going to do the rest of the day more content okay and uh, that's it guys here we are pretty cool location 
it's very very nice and tranquil out here i think there's a water fountain up there which i'll be going with the jeep when i do the pickup review so yes good thing it rained a bit like that we don't get so much dust on the car um starting to dry up so i better go see you in the next part of this video Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Wow, so um just wanted to share with you guys this um scenery. So this right here I'm gonna turn the camera. And right in front of the cornfield you have the dunes of the beach. Can you see that? Now isn't that amazing guys? That's quite amazing, isn't it? And on this side here you have a it's like swamp river bed like kilometers and kilometers and kilometers you know you can't see it right now because it's low tide uh, you can see a bit of the water but um, I mean I've been crossing fields like this like like 10 already and I just ne never seen a cornfield with the dunes on the background like that I mean it's quite amazing it's just beautiful you know hope I get the same beauty I'm seeing with my own eyes onto the camera so it's quite amazing <laughs> and you got this swamp river here look at that full of uh, plants that just grew with on the river t on the river top the top surface of the water how beautiful is that eh? I just had to stop and share this with you guys I mean it's like something in a in a picture, you know. <laughs> Amazing. Let's keep on going. I showed you guys uh, how it was right at the back there, and now we're going to climb up here to see what's going on. I'm seeing some weird tracks here. Looks like snake tracks. From it's weird. It looks like snakes are here on the sand. I'm not sure, but. Let us see here. I'm seeing these. This isn't deep enough to be a bicycle or anything else, especially because you can't go on the dunes with vehicles, bicycles, motorbikes, anything. So I'm almost sure that's snake tracks right there. But how beautiful is this, guys? Look at that. Eh? Amazing. Wow. The sand is like so smooth. So let's see here. So what you think? There's a snake here. Yes, this snake track. These are snake tracks, definitely. There must be a lot of snakes in here. Wow. Look at this, guys. How amazing is that? how tall we are so it's just amazing it just goes and goes and goes wow that's a beautiful sight right there I think we're gonna go touch the water we have to go touch the water just to see if it's cold or not <laughs> Pretty amazing, isn't it, guys? And you know what this is? This is squid. A squid bone right there, you see? Unfortunately, look at that. A tire, guys. Now that's not good. Unfortunately, a tire, guys. Plastic. More plastic, but you know, where don't you get that nowadays, right? So, apologize. So many different type of shells here. Whoa. I don't know what this is. I'm sure someone knows. 
I've never seen that. It's amazing. I mean, it's still not people are still coming a lot to the beach. We do have cold water here. It's not very warm, but because there's not a lot of people. can find a lot of different shells you know once a lot of people start coming they start just collecting the beautiful shells over here but there's plenty of stuff just um, getting faulted here another squid skeleton see <laughs> so there must be a lot of squid yeah that's just shells all over and some stones a nice looking stone right there. Just leave it. Just give you guys a little bit more different content, you know. So look how the dunes are preventing all the erosion, you know. That's very important. It just keeps on piling all the sand here, the sea. There's a quite a bit of it's not a lot of rubbish, I can say, but I'm sure it's all coming from the water when the tide goes up. Look here, you see, it's dip right here. Whoop. So, very cool, very cool. So, I'm just gonna keep on walking until we get to the water. Sorry that it gets long, the video, but the water is quite far away from the dunes, you know? It's not quite a big distance, so. So many different type of creatures, you know, different shells. You can see there's very different type of species here. This is actually a good sign. Oh, that's amazing. An oyster shell. How cool is that, eh? Actually, I think it's the first time I saw an oyster shell at the beach. That's cool. All these are shells. <laughs> Must be amazing just to go inside the beach. Look, this shell is still a bit opened up, so that's quite intact. <laughs> How cool is that? Normally, people would just be picking up all these. And I still don't know what that is. Still gotta check that out, investigate that. Then I'll put it in the description. It's going to be quite, the microphone is going to be quite uh, noisy. I'll try to filter that sound out. Let's see, I can find something else here. I think they went to go see if they can. Um, got some dog tracks here, so someone came here with a dog to maybe do some exercise so many pebbles so many cool pebbles so let's just go see how the water is it's too cold or not actually lost a bit of track where i came from oh there okay let's go see how this water is that's a beautiful sight right there i guess how amazing is that bet you guys didn't know i was going to bring you guys to the beach <laughs> When you don't come in some time, you know, you just always get surprised. So let's see this water right here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's not bad. I've got to be careful so that I don't get... Oh, that's a nice little shell there as well. don't have a clue what that is. Some kind of weird rock going on here. I don't know if it's tall or not. I think it is, yeah. So everything pops up here. Very cool, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can go to another place before we close this video. A lot of nice pebbles, whoever likes to catch pebbles at the beach side. All type of rubbish just pops out here in the beach. 
but it's actually quite clean the water here so I'm not ready to put oh the water is actually quite nice normally it's much colder okay so we're gonna wrap it up guys this was a cool little walk I'm sure you can find a lot of interesting stuff on the sand so we'll come with more time to keep on creating this cool content for you guys amazing here up in the dunes quite high quite the exercise <laughs> very cool it was a cool walk just to be a bit different you know there's the caddy all clean and shiny and here we go down one more um, blades for wind energy quite huge eh so we gotta keep moving because we can't really stop here um, look at that guys channels of water crossing everywhere look how big that is remember the car look how long they are how much time it takes to go from one point to the other it looks like torpedoes but it's just <laughs> One more blades, eh? They got a lot of stock going there. So, quite cool. It's over here. I told you guys I'm going to show you a bit of different content, you know? Mix it up a bit. <laughs> so, pretty cool. So, we were right over on that side. Over, over, over. And now we came across to this side here. Then there's plenty of other stuff to see. I think you guys will enjoy it later on future videos because we're going to have some car content on the next video okay going to go to a car show we do some very cool stuff with 4x4s and everything so i think you guys will enjoy it so guys came here close to the, the ship just as i told you guys forward. quite cool to see these big old ships here <laughs> someone there going up through the rope it's quite cool so they used to get caught fish with this once again the wind is coming in someone's there just tying up a rope right there you guys see quite cool so this like there's a lot of stuff going on here Very cool. So you can actually go inside, it's like a museum. But uh, I'm not sure if you guys are into that. <laughs> so, normally you don't see no one next to the boat. Pretty full of workers today. Must be to maintain the museum, you know. I know they did like those games. How do you call them? The once you get like stuck in a room something room <laughs> you see, I saw once they were doing it inside this boat so quite cool eh guys got the sea there just like that we close our video here next to the ship guys okay so hope you guys also enjoy that video tomorrow there's gonna be more okay and uh, stay tuned guys and see you guys on the next one. Out.